हेलो फ्रेंड्स ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड वेरेट इन कॉम्प्लेक्स इमेजेस ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट डोमेन ऑफ डीप लर्निंग फॉर एप्लीकेशन इन सेवरल एरिया रिसर्च इन दिस डोमेन इज ऑन गोइंग फॉर द फर्स्ट थिंग मेड टू डेवलप पैटर्न एंड मोर ऑप्शन अप्रोचेज एंड एलगोरिज्म दिस प्रोजेक्ट द पार्ट ऑफ ओपन ए आई चैलेंज बाई गूगल ऑन गिवन कैप दिस चैलेंज हैज थ्री सब पार्ट द फर्स्ट इज ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन ट्रैक एंड दिस ऑब्जेक्ट डिटेक्शन ट्रैक Now, localizing different objects with an image. There can be multiple objects within one image. By localizing each object within the image, by making a bounding box around it. After making a bounding box, we are classifying this object into multiple classes. The second part is virtual relationship detection track, in which we are determining the relationship between two objects within the image. Third is the segmentation, which is the advancement of object detection. We have implemented the solution to the object detection using two models, YOLO V3 and the Dynamic. What I'm going to do is give a brief about the data set we are using for object detection here, and we'll be using the Open Images version 5, which is uh, currently the largest open source uh, data available. So what Google has done here is put together nine million images, and it's not just massive in number, but uh, they have managed to put together a wide variety, and uh, each image is complex with at least seven objects per image, and it it has covered uh, almost 600 object classes, uh, and uh, altogether uh, with the annotations uh, giving us the bounding box locations. And the image labels. We have roughly 500 GB of data. Uh, since we will not be able to process that much due to GPU limitations in time, boundaries will be uh, processing on a very carefully chosen subset, which is only 1 million images and roughly 50 GB of data. So I'm here to tell you about the YOLO V3 model, which we will be using in this project. A little about the pre-processing. We've taken the images and converted them into a 416 by 416 pixel size because that's the size the YOLO model requires for input, and it has three channels for the RGB values. Next, we took the bounding boxes and converted them into a specific annotation string format, which contains the class label, the confidence score, as well as the bounding box coordinates, which have been normalized between 0 to 1. One thing about YOLO V3, which makes it different from other models. It's that it applies a single neural network over the entire image, rather than modifying classifying algorithms. It uses nine anchor boxes, three at each scaling level, so it actually detects images at three different scales. This makes it excellent for small object detection. This is supported by a 106-layer fully convolutional architecture, which is built upon the Darknet model. Additionally, we use IOU, that is intersection over union. For, uh, for eliminating redundant boxes and NMS, that is non-maximal suppression, to suppress all of the extra boxes that may be considered, which are below a certain threshold value. Plus, for our objective, which is to identify classes in a particular semantic hierarchy, we have added code such that an object is identified as a member of its own class as well as members of its superclasses. For example, your laptop is also a computer. Which is also an electronic equipment. Thus, it has to be identified as all three. To sum it all up, what makes YOLO so good for this? Multi-class prediction. It's really fast, and it can detect small objects. I'm speaking about RetinaNet, which is a single unified composition of a network, which has a backbone network and following two sub-specified um, sub-networks. Uh, in this, we use a ResNet backbone, um, backbone with an FPN, which is known as Feature Pyramid Network, where the two sub networks are created later on. The two sub boxes or sub categories or sub networks are called as classification and box regression. In the classification, we uh, determine the determine the lots of objects and its position and labels which are present in it. And when the classific and uh, the regression, we tell them about the boxes and the position of the boxes. In this, we have split it into two CSV files, and in those CSV files, we have determined the class indexing and the class indexing. There are two CSVs. 
One is the annotation CSV, which tells the position and the classes of the images, and second is the class index in CSV. In the, in the rest net, we extract the features with a future pyramid network, which is add a concatenated. In the future pyramid network, it's a segmentation of taking the features and uh, making into a hierarchical form, which it creates a higher resolution. In the two sub networks, the classification we have taken nine anchors and we are making 16 divided 16 16 parts and then three and three and three conversion layers are used. 256 filters are applied in which the focal loss function is applied. Focal loss function is the loss function which is a modification of cross entropy which tackles with the hard to easy image ratio size to extract features in which the hard images are very less number in compared to easy images which we can which is easily ignores the easily ignores the background and the minor details which the single shot detectors are very harmful for it so time to conclude guys as told by my teammates we applied two of the most common uh, object detection models on our data set that is open images version 5 which is uh, yolo version 3 and retinet Retinet we use because it is highly accurate and it gave us the correct result most, most of the time and uh, we use this YOLO version 3 because it is very faster when compared to the Retina network. So also when we applied both the models at last we uh, concluded that the loss score for the Retina net came out nearly about 2 to 4 and for the YOLO version 3 it was around 80. So the lesser the better it is. So uh, the Retinet uh, went better on a data set and hence due to the constraint on time and the computing power, we decided to train our model with uh, approx 1 million images that is uh, approx 60 GB of data as our model is uh, good at recognizing stuff in the foreground like most common objects like human beings, cars, dogs, cats and it is yet to be trained on background objects.